In this video, we are going to go ahead and then have a look at the top 10 Linux hacks related to graphical user interface, terminal, GitHub pages, everything. And I'm pretty sure you guys don't know most of these. Okay, so the first thing which we are going to have a look at is going to be an application called Umox. Now, that's probably the worst application name which I've ever heard. But in this case, the use case of this application is crisp. This application helps you create your own GTK theme. And uh, in this video, I probably won't be able to do this completely because it's going to take a long time. But yeah, this is the idea. It helps you create your own GTK theme completely. You know, go to this and then use the color picker to choose whatever color I want. Scroll down, have a look at whatever you want to change. Let's say pacing. It also comes with, you know, predefined theme options, styles, which you could change if you want. So let's say I want a material theme. In that case, I just choose the materia UI element, which I could further change if I want to. With that said, let's move on with the next application, which is can I, I can't pronounce that como berry como rebi yeah so como rebi is basically a linux based application it is basically a wallpaper setter and also adds a few widgets like clocks and stuff like that in the middle it's mainly used for setting wallpapers and you might wonder why well it also comes with features like setting videos as wallpapers you probably cannot do in most linux distributions by default i also love the icon to whatever you want to do with that piece of information with that said we are gonna now move on to the next application which i think this is one of my favorite out of all the 10 applications one of my favorite not the most favorite but let's have a look at the application this this time it's a console based application the name of this terminal based app is called lolcat what you have to do is for example let's just say i want to say sudo dnf update i'm not able to type these days so you get this pale output by your terminal well this is for noobs uh if you are a pro like me what you do is that you go ahead and then say whatever command you have and you embed with lolcat now what this does is that it makes your output look amazing and this is probably one of the best outputs i have ever seen uh, let's say you want to make something more interesting let's say ls how you could actually make it more interesting is by adding lolcat again this looks amazing now it, it also comes with some downsides like obviously as a person who prefers efficiency over looks i would not want to type this all the time there are many other ways which i'm gonna talk about in my future videos maybe but for now we'll keep it that simple lolcat colorful displays could be automated using your bash script the next app which we're gonna have a look at is again terminal based application and this time it's called rip grep it's basically grep you guys know this command right grep it's basically grep but it has some extra functionalities to go ahead and then integrate with the repositories of github and gitlab or just git in general just did is that i pulled up this website right here which shows you how you could use the rip grep basically you use rg instead of rip grep and then you say the term the word you want to search for and then the file the file name the same goes here if you want more than one file you also have more flags and so on with that said that is how rip grep works with that said let's move on to the next app which is rsync now rsync i bet most of you guys who are using gentoo linux or linux distributions which need a lot of scripting i bet most of you guys out there probably know it but for those of you who don't know what rsync is it allows you to sync between multiple folders at the same time with the same data between the two folders in that case it actually makes it very easy to maintain uh folders in a more efficient and a stable way so let me show an example of how i work with uh rsync to make it easy for my life okay so as you can see there are two config files right here the first one is the normal config file which is going to be referred by the computer to you know configure the major parts of 
applications and stuff like that the second one is the config git file which i posted on github uh, sorry gitlab uh, commit to gitlab because it has a lot of configurations related to my previous video which i and many people use it has like configurations of uh, hyperland window managers and all stuff all sorts of stuff which is useful so what do i do right now is that i just don't commit this file completely to github sorry gitlab because it makes no sense it has stuff like decon it has bitwarden cli uh it has this abrt which i don't know what the full form is it has min browsers a configuration most of my subscriber don't need it so what i do is that i go ahead and then r sync this to this which means it allows me to go ahead and then uh, sync just the specific parts of the folders to this folder which makes it much much easier for me to go ahead and then make the gitlab folder more efficient it does not have sorts of stuff which which are completely useless for most people now let's go ahead and then have a look at how rsync actually works so here's how it works okay let's say i'm just gonna go to a cd downloads so go to the folder which is necessary and go ahead and then make sure that your file exists in my case i'm gonna create a sample file for the sake of this video okay i need this sample file to be synced between my downloads folder and let's say documents folder so what i'm gonna do is that i'm just gonna say r sync and then hyphen a v h and then the source of whatever you have in my case it is this folder sample.txt and then the destination wherever i want this to be synced in my case it is dot dot and then uh, into my documents folder yeah there you go that's basically it so that's how it works that's how rsync basically works now let me just go ahead and then delete that because i don't want that now the next one which i'm gonna show you guys is an actual linux hack which i think most of you guys will find it useful and i'm not gonna lie this was very very life-changing for me and uh, i'm sure it's gonna change your life as well so let's say you just wanted to edit a folder which is in your root directory okay i want to edit the http conf for example so i'm just gonna say and yes i am inside uh yes i just did some stuff and i want to write and quit what i did forget is that i forgot to open this file in sudo as in in root so what i would do right now is that i would quit it now i have two options to do the first one is go ahead and say up and then say sudo right here and then say enter and then type your password and get in that's the first one the second one is just say sudo and exclamation exclamation mark sudo with two exclamation mark and hit enter as simple as that so yeah basically sudo exclamation exclamation allows you to enter whatever you had done previously in pseudo privileges pretty simple and very helpful i'm not gonna lie and i'm pretty sure this is gonna be helpful to most of you guys who want to edit stuff with that said let's move on to the next one which is another hack in terminal but this hack is more based on the gui side of terminal as in the terminal application itself so if you go ahead and then uh, type in a lot of commands usually but you suddenly want to go ahead and then find a command which you had typed like one day ago or two days ago you could go ahead and then just say up arrow a thousand times and then eventually get lost or find your uh, terminal command after like one hour or something like that or if you are an expert like me a piece of shit what you would do is that you would say control r yes control r what this does is that it allows you to go ahead and then search the commands you had typed in your history in your previous so let's say i want to find the command which i had typed thousand years ago about lolcat i would just say lolcat and there you go the command which i wanted to find is finally here so what i'm gonna do is just say enter and there you go my command is just run say control r search it and hit enter it's way faster than i don't know finding your rsync command manually so now that you are done with the control r command sorry the control r shortcut in a terminal 
we are now going to move on to the next one which is the command z so this command line basically jumps from one place to another so it uses your bash rc history to go ahead and then predict the most number of um, visited folders for you and then finally goes ahead and then predicts the next folder which you want to jump to whenever you say z and then you know a keyword so let's say you have jumped to the document folder thousands and thousands of times and you want to jump to that again instead of going ahead and then saying cd documents inside the home folder you just have to say z doc or something like that and you don't even have to be in the home folder and then you know a couple of words of the main folder which you want to go into with that said let's move on to the next one which is actually a gui application this time the name of the application is called nitro share now what is this application it's basically an application which allows you to share between one computer to another it's available in windows mac os and linux it's easy to use completely free it also allows you to go ahead and then install through the package manager because it's there in the package manager and yeah if you want to share files between multiple computers you could go ahead and then use nitro share it's also open source by the way so i'm gonna go ahead and then show how you could go ahead and then share between one computer to another computer in my future videos because obviously it's a bit longer video than usual let's go ahead and then move on to the next application this time it's called blanket and this time i actually have the application with me so what this application does is that it's basically gonna give you some noise uh, not to make you bold that's it it's not gonna make you bold and it's gonna give you some noise as simple as that you have this play and pause button using which you could do what you want it's gonna give you all sorts of noise like these like birds noise stream noise waves noise wind noise storm summer night yeah now you might be wondering what the fuck is the use case of this like it's just gonna make some ri raining noise and stuff like that now the use is that it's just gonna make your ears and you know your brain more soothing and uh, i don't know like your mood more satisfying or stuff like that yeah it's just gonna be like music but 10 times more disturbing i don't know i don't know i have nothing to say it's not my piece of taste but it is useful for many other people i know many other people who use uh, applications like this and finally the last and the final uh, command which i'm gonna show you guys which is our last linux hack is called uh, it's it's a long command i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna paste all of these commands by the way in the lin in the description below so if you want to have a look at these commands in detail you could have a look at them in the description the last command is i know grep is very much used by a lot of users this is the command it's gonna go ahead and then just basically search for what you want so let's say i want to search for like documents and uh yeah all of these are literally like the ones where documents term was found but that's basically it uh grep does that okay grep is a very useful command for most users but grep along with a long term of stuff is again more useful than what you think in this case this command is gonna search for a term which exists in other places that is basically the 10 full hacks uh, about linux which i found for you guys today obviously this is uh, part one so i'm gonna be releasing way more videos related to linux hacks in the future and i'm sure you guys are gonna like it with that said that's about it in this video smash like subscribe uh please do consider joining the membership i have literally zero members literally zero patreons and uh yeah supporting me would be very generous of you and it would be very supportive and helpful to me and it yeah it really means a lot to me with that said i'm gonna leave you guys i'll meet you in the next video goodbye